that's not so far from here And the folks who live there hold it dear It's a place to raise a family It's not so far, it's very near There are many homes and country barns And the work still goes on at the farms All the corporate business and the trees Become as one with grace and charm Woodlands of oak and maple Cliffs in the glen are cool And when you cross the water You'll know why it is our jewel There are many ways that one can take To a place that man and nature make For the views they'll take your breath away Just like its name, our Woodcliff Lake Just like its name our wood cliff lake. It's time for this month's edition of Our Woodcliff Lake, a news magazine show about life in our area, brought to you by the volunteer members of WCL-TV, Woodcliff Lake's community access television organization. My name is Andre Domino. Later on in the show, we've got a segment from a country hoedown square dance with a group of girls and their dads. But first, we're going to show you how some people make maple syrup. No, it's not from Vermont, but it's a group from right here in Woodcliffe Lake that make this tasty natural treat. I just took the straw out. Can you Hello, my name is Mike Duffy. We're here in Woodcliffe Lake doing something that's very unique to the town. We're making maple syrup. Right here we have a silver maple, what we do basically is I drill a two inch hole in the tree. Okay. And we insert one of these taps. They go in about an inch and a half and immediately the sap will begin to drip out the end. Here's one we did earlier this morning and you can see how the maple sap is dripping out. Here's the one we just put in, and you can see the sap flowing already. What we do is we collect it. If you look around the property, you'll see all the trees have been tapped, and uh, we collect them in the 30-gallon garbage cans right here. We strain them off and clean them. It comes out as a clear liquid. It looks just like water. It's not even sweet to the touch. We strain them all off. What we did, we've collected about 400 gallons of sap here this year. We've had four boils. We've produced about 10 gallons of maple syrup. Very labor intensive and very unique to Wicklow Flake. Put all the sap in here and boil it until it starts to look like maple syrup. It'll turn dark. And then, after it boils down, we put it over here. This is quite a cooker we have here, too. We've fashioned an oil drum and a sabret hot dog cooker. And uh, we, we fill it up to about this level. It takes seven, eight, ten hours to boil it down. We drain the tank. Just like that, and the, the pure maple syrup begins to flow out. It's a long process, but it seems to work pretty good. Hello again. I'd like to introduce Brian Bliss. Another Wilkins Lake resident has helped us quite a bit with doing this maple sugar process. Brian, what are we doing here right now? You see before how we were cooking it. Now you go through the process of uh, how it gets thicker and darker. 
basically what we have here is the final straining. We've taken 50 gallons of sap today and we're finishing off in these two little pots. It should be about a gallon and a half of maple syrup, maybe not even that much. We will strain it two more times through a cheesecloth or a t-shirt even. And that'll give us our final product. And once again, it's a long process, but it's worth every drop. Now is a final straining. What we've done is we boiled the sap down and you can see the maple syrup is taking on its dark rich color. It looks thin now because it's piping hot. What we do is we take a t-shirt and a clean bucket. Slowly pour the oil product through. Get your fingers, Brian. actually do this one more time because you'll see the amount of soot and residue that's left inside it. It's actually quite amazing. Now this will take a couple minutes to strain through the fabric and you'll begin to see the dark particles. We call it sand but it's like sugar and soot. Again, you can see how slow the process is. Oop. There, you get to see some of the gook that's left behind. And now we have a pot. We need to put it back on the stove and do boil it a few more minutes. And then we'll strain it one final time and we'll be all set with this one. Bring that up to a boil again and strain it one more time and then we'll bottle it. We've had a, one of the clever little kids on his computer make us up some labels. We've bottled about eight to 10 gallons of maple syrup over the course of three to four weeks we've been here. Twice a week we've boiled, and it's uh, anywhere between eight and 14 hours of boil to get four of these. <laughs> So once again, you can see it's very labor intensive, but it's also a lot of fun for the family and friends. And it's another great thing to do in Wycliffe Lake. Now the syrup drips off this, this spoon because it's getting thicker. And the, you can see the sugar's getting stale. Which means uh, the syrup is basically almost ready. Tastes like it's ready, Brian? sand in that one. You can see what's left in the pot isn't even moving now. That's good stuff right there. That is good. Twelve hours, you don't let one drip get away. <laughs> That's the truth. Finally, we're here. The last step of the whole process. What we have to do, we're going to be pouring hot maple syrup into glass jars. So what we've done is we've heated the jars up 
in our cooker so that they're nice and warm so when the hot syrup hits them, they don't shatter. Brian, if you bring that over, be real careful. I'm going to start filling them up. Okay, pick it up a little, Brian. That's it. Go. And here we go. Hot maple syrup. Good, Brian. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll do, we'll fill, go for the big one there, Brian. Keep going. And there we go. Here we have uh, boiled now for five hours. And we've come away with, I would say, just under a gallon of maple syrup. Um, it's been a long, fun project. I'd like to thank Al Skoglin for his expertise. And it was his idea to set this whole project up. And we couldn't have this without him. And also Brian. Brian Bliss has worked real hard on this project. And uh, hopefully we'll see everybody again next year. I can't wait for the waffles today. Thanks. This is our maple syrup lady right here. <laughs> oh. mm. You like that? This is the fun part, the cleaning. Yeah. Mm, it's good. <laughs> In our next segment, WCL-TV